Hey guys, I was out at my parents' house yesterday and one of their neighbors had something on the curb that I had to grab. It needs a new, it needs a new paint job, it needs a little bit, maybe update some of this stuff, but I don't need a hutch, but I've got plans. I'm gonna just take this part and turn that into like a console table. Got the top piece off and now I've got this piece separate. Unfortunately, this piece was attached to that and not here. So this is gonna need a new top. Got an insert put in here. Um, remember this was open before, so let me pop it off and show you. It's open in there, right? So I put these little brackets in here, braces to hold it up, cut a new board to plop down in there. And I'm just using some scrap that I had. I mean, ideally I would put a whole new top on it, but I'm gonna paint this so I can fill this no problem. This piece is gonna go in there, nice tight fit. Everything is sanded, smooth, totally filled that spot. You'll never know that was an inset piece. Nice and smooth, sanded everything down, cleaned it, wiped it, time for paint. So you ready for the color reveal? It's right here. Oh, it's not gonna be so pretty. So time to start painting. And here it is, here's my finished piece with that beautiful turquoise color and the inserts in the doors. I mean, can you believe this used to be that big ugly hutch? Let me show you the plans that I have finally for working on the top. Um, we are gonna turn this into, are you ready? A faux fireplace. It's gonna be so awesome. Let's talk a little bit about this base. Um, you can see I've laid this down on its back. It's gonna be a little easier to work straight down here, right? So I want a nice solid base that's gonna go here. So here's my plan. This is the bottom, right? I have this two by, or one by six that I'm planning on wrapping it with to give it a nice finished look and a nice solid base. So this is gonna go as far out as I can from this, um, you know, kind of so that it has so a nice reveal out there. Um, so I need a sturdy base underneath. So I'm gonna use two by six, um, just regular lumber for this, not finished stuff. And I'm gonna build a frame that's gonna go right up to the edge here, maybe in just a tiny bit, so that this can then sit on top and have this pretty finished edge and this reveal. I've got this up on the base now. So I want to show you how I measure this so very carefully. I made this space just a tiny bit smaller than the bottom of the fireplace because these are scraps. But remember my plan is to wrap this with some one by six that should fit just right under there. See that so that I get, cause you don't want a gap, right? So if it's just under there and I attach it and then fill it with some caulk, mine are these corners of course, then that is gonna look super awesome. Nice and built out and structural. Yep, so that's my next thing. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this down and then start cutting these pieces to wrap the side. All right, there we go. I've got all the trim attached. Doesn't that look nice? So much more substantial. Um, so now I've got a lot of cleanup to do down here. Bunch of wood filling here, filling these holes from where I screw this down. Okay, so the top has this crown molding um, that sticks up. So obviously this isn't flat. I need to put a new piece here. I've got a big piece, let me show you over here, of a really nice board. It's um, one, inches, one inch thick and pretty deep. But I'm going to play with my scraps again and show you. Um, if I only put one inch thick on there, that's not enough. I really feel like I need two like that would have just the right amount of height. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some trim and I'm going to put um, like a one by three piece across here first to build this up. And then I'm gonna put the big piece on top of that and then, you know, fill this gap and everything. So I think that's gonna work great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my trim. The top pieces are done. I've got my big, 
Um, this ended up being 15 and a half inches deep. And then I've got this second stuff under here. Let me just lift it up and show you. See, so I've got that piece that I'm going to attach down. And then once I put these all together, I'm going to glue them, clamp them, screw Like these are going to be solid and then I'll fill here. So this will be a nice solid piece. I decided to glue the extra piece to the top piece first and create a nice solid piece and then I'll attach it. So while this is over here drying, I just realized there's another thing I need to do on here. So let's see if this is the open part where the fireplace is going to go, where like the actual fire is going to go. So I need some sides here, right? I need something on this side, something on this side so that the faux fire is in the middle. Fortunately, I happen to have these shelves that were in the top of the hutch. So I'm going to take one of these, I'm going to have to cut it down to size, but I'm going to plop that right in there and make my side. Um, I secured them in here with some brackets down in the corners and then up at the top. So I think that's going to work great. Look at how pretty that top looks, right? Doesn't that give it just the extra balance it needed across the bottom? I love it, it looks so good. Um, I went ahead and screwed it down into the base so that it's super sturdy. I mean, I could have nailed it or glued it, but screws are gonna work a lot better. And I'm gonna fill this now and paint it and sand it and all of that, and it'll be all good. Okay, I got everything filled, sanded, smooth, all of this, oh, so smooth and silky. All of my screw holes are filled in. That's all good. Um, I do not have any caulk. I need to caulk this seam right up in here, and more importantly, this one down here where um, it's a little rough, so I need to caulk all that, but I'm gonna have to run to the store and get some of that. Um, but I did get everything nice and smooth, like in the joints between this wall, that's all nice and smooth now. I got some caulk, so I am filling this crack. Look at the difference it makes just by running a little bead in there. It's so much better. So basically I just run some in there and then I just whoop with my finger. Oh, perfect. All right, so this was the back before, and now it's going to be the front. Um, it's a little bit too tall, so we're going to go ahead and run this through the table saw and get a nice edge on here and get this to fit on the sides so that we can stick it in there and cut out our opening. We have trimmed the edges off. It fits perfectly now, so this is going to work really well. Um, but because this was the back and there's this weird paint line, we got to sand this down to see how it's kind of rough. So we're going to sand that down smooth. I am going to trace the inside so we can figure out where we're going to arch to be. We've got our lines here and we want to do an arch and we figured out by looking that we want the peak of the arch to be about seven or eight inches from the top. So I'm just going to measure seven and a half. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And then to draw the circle, we're gonna use this because this is sort of flexible so we can get exactly the angle we want. So we have to smush it in to go with the lines that are on the side of our fireplace and put the, let me get on this side. Yeah, that'll be easier. And I'll stand over here as well. I think I like it. All right, so I'm gonna hold this still while she traces it. Inside, inside, yes. Just 
Joe jigsawed all this out, so now we have our arch. Let's see how it looks. Okay, she's just putting the last screw ends on here to hold our new facade. What do you guys think? I absolutely love the arch look. Chica is holding up the trim we're going to use to cover the edge here. Look at how nice this is going to look. Okay, we've added our trim to trim everything out. And we're gonna fill and caulk and putty and all that good stuff. Hello. Hi. <laughs> now she's measuring, we're gonna put this thin piece of board for the backer on the back. So it'll look nice and finished. Sanded it smooth and now I'm gonna give it a coat of paint. I've got the white paint done. Now I'm painting the black on the inside. We got an electric log set um it's just run on led so it's super cool so it's not going to be a fire risk at all in this completely wooden structure um this is the bracket that it came with And here's the finished fireplace. Can you believe that that used to be the top of a hutch?